Now, another event that was supposed to happen tonight, the defending national champion Lady Bears of Baylor, led by Flower Mounds, all-American Lauren Cox could have been playing in the Elite Eight at Moody Coliseum in Dallas, punching their ticket to the women's Final Four in New Orleans. The road to the Final Four for Lauren Cox was supposed to go through Dallas this weekend. But instead, Lauren spends her days playing hoops with her family at a park near her Flower Mound home. It's been hard for all of us because we're a sports family and this is kind of what we do. And so to have to sit at home and, um, you know, watch Netflix and not even be able to watch sports on TV, it's been, it's been pretty hard. The hardest part of all for the Cox family came 17 days ago when the defending national champion Lady Bears of Baylor found out their season was over while sitting on a plane on a Waco runway, getting set to fly to the Big 12 tournament. I was heartbroken. Um, I cried for a couple days. Um, I was glad to be home with my family just so they could comfort me, I could be with them. Um, and it definitely helps that we have that national championship with us because um, that, that was the ultimate goal uh, coming into college. That's why I picked Baylor. I wanted to win a national championship and that was a dream come true. Oh, there were a few tears, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and just, you know, kind of that thought of, you know, what's gonna happen next and, and you know, where is her future going. And Heartbreaking for Lauren and her sister Whitney, a freshman for defending NCAA Division II national champion Lubbock Christian. I cried when we found out for obviously our team, we were hoping to compete for a national title as well, but just for Lauren, like knowing I wouldn't see her play any more college games and I had a flight book to go home from Lubbock to Dallas and then driving to New Orleans for the final four. It's kind of cool thinking about both of them being reigning national champs again for another year. Um, you know, neither one of them finished ranked number one in any of the polls, but you can't take away that they are reigning national champs. The pandemic has made for some quality family time on the playground for the Cox sisters. It's really fun. It's just a way to get out of the house. Um, we're all cooped up in there, so it's just a way to get some sun and play the sport we love. Really hurry! Come on! And the sport the Cox family loves is basketball. Besides Lauren and Whitney, the youngest of the four sisters, Maddie, made all state as a freshman basketball player at Flower Mound. And Kaylee is a junior high school All American volleyball player committed to Missouri. Mom played hoops at SMU, dad played at Central Methodist in Missouri, which makes for some mean games of knockout. Well, you saw the, the knockout game. It's, uh, it's competitive when, when you say go and this is, you know, we're keeping score, it, it gets, you know, gets serious and they take it seriously and just get after it. It's all pretty even for the most part. Just whoever's on that day or whoever's ball isn't going flying into the grass. <laughs> but usually not Kaylee. She never really wins. <laughs> but she's well, a volleyball, she's a volleyball player, player, so she's it's understandable, yeah. <laughs> I can't really do a game here, but like I can like I said, pepper with my mom and like help my sisters get better with basketball, like rebounding for them or like playing defense on them, stuff like that. We've been to this uh, park a couple times. There's a hill that's like on the side of the road that we've done some hill sprints on that. I think they push each other a little bit. You know, if somebody's not doing something or somebody, um, you know, hasn't worked out for the day. They are serious about basketball and about staying safe during this crisis, especially critical for Lauren and Whitney, who are type 1 diabetics. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's my fear is uh, for them is, you know, one, them getting sick and having complications. Um, and two, you know, if the, if the supply chain gets interrupted and getting their medication, uh, if they run out, that's insulin is not a uh, a luxury. It's it's required. It's it's a necessity. We can't live without it. So uh, that's a little scary. Uh, but you know, we've got faith that everything's going to work out and we'll get through this. And I think we will. We do have to take extra caution just because if we do get it, um, it would be a lot harder on our bodies to heal. Fox maneuvering through traffic to finish. Lauren Cox has overcome big obstacles, not only diabetes, but a devastating injury in last year's national title game to be a Naismith Award finalist and a top prospect for next month's WNBA draft. 
So it's not surprising who might be the most competitive Cox family member. I think I am. Um, I hate to lose, and I will do whatever it takes to win, whether it's a board game, basketball game, whatever it takes. Well, we're doing puzzles at night, playing Uno, and I think we've only had one instance of cards being thrown and, and maybe some tears. You've asked who the most competitive was. That's the one who threw the cards. Remind me, who was the most competitive? <laughs> that would be Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she just pushes us every everything we do, so and she just wants to win every second of her life. Get up! Get up! As disappointing as this month has been, Lauren Cox is bound and determined to be ready for the next stop on her basketball journey, which might be not far from her Flower Mound playground with the WNBA Dallas Wings. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, it's been a dream of mine since I started playing basketball as a little, a little girl, so I'm really looking forward to playing with the best players in the country and in the world. WNBA draft is still scheduled for April 17th, and Lauren Cox could be selected by the Dallas Wings with the second overall pick. In fact, the Wings have four of the top nine picks in the draft. Coming up, high